the Bones 5 Live intro by Cameron Bezidpour. Thank you, Cameron. I'm going to thank you every week. And get, hey, guess what this is? Oh, you're Sasquatching. The Running Sasquatching. Man. No. Are, we do, are we doing this every week, Ron? No. Yeah, yeah. A new hmm. creative way every week to, uh, to bring on, come on to the show. Look, we're I'm getting... you could make it back. But yeah, I'm glad I could too. Getting further and further away from uh, the, the camera, it seems like. Um, hey, everybody. It's Friday. That means it's time for the Bones 5 Live update. Here it is. December, I don't know, what is it? The 18th, 17th? What's today? 18th. 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 Yeah. One week from Christmas. And uh, here we are doing another update. Joined by my special guests, the regular peanut gallery, Bobby Jackson, Jason would be Gene Van Horn, Michael Proctor. Say hello, gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. All right. Don't be well, so enthused. I'm not sure about the peanut gallery deal, but... Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, that's a good thing. Peanut gallery. Jo- what? Okay, fine. Peanut gallery. Whatever. My trusted co-hosts who fill us with insight every time they're on. There you that's go. That's better. You could, you yeah, could have breathed a, a little better. bit. But... I'm going to want some insight from you guys today. Okay. Right. Joined I'm behind the know. scenes by uh, Justin Elliott, John Overton, uh, running the camera, running the board up, or the board. Uh, say hello, gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. Don't forget hello, Dave. Hello, Dave hello, was moving all Dave, kinds of shit around. Dave, Dave, yeah, Dave left. Dave, thanks, Dave. Uh, so, okay, all right. Well, uh, there are a few new things we're going to show you guys today. Uh, if you saw Reaper Live last night, then you saw some of these things. Um, but we're going to show you again today. If you saw, if you tuned in last night, oh, let me take these off. And also a couple other new things we did not show last night. Um, by this point, we have production samples of everything in Bones Five. There may be a couple of exceptions. John, can you think of anything we have not shown that maybe uh, uh, we, we don't, oh, we've not oh, gotten? Top of my head, ship cannons. We have ship cannons. That's about it. Yeah, okay. We have ship cannons. I don't think I just, I think they're over uh, in the other building across the street, but um, we have the print, right? You have the print? Yes. Have we, let us show the, put the print up here by um, Mr. Mammoth. Did you show the Crocosaurus? Um, I th- mm. thought we had shown the Crocosaurus. Okay. Do we see a Crocosaurus mm. on I, here? I don't remember it. I don't remember seeing one. Uh, the, the big, the big half dragon, half crocodile. Big from dark depths. <laughs> it, he, it's fine. It, we may, we, you're right, Jason, we may not have, but uh, that's in the darkest I depths. I don't think we did. He, that's got another awesome. good basin on it for my He's point. over there. He's over there in a bag and he's not assembled. Um, if only we okay. had some super glue, but um, don't have them. Anyway, what you're seeing here on the table here is the, is the vast majority of, of uh, Bones 5. Again, there, there are some exceptions. Like, again, Jason's Crocosaurus. Uh, some other the stuff from, from um, uh, Dark Depths, which didn't get assembled on time. The, the sea monster that Proctor painted. Um, things like that. Things like that. So, but uh, here we go. So uh, there's all your stuff today. We're just going to, if you guys want to hear. What? The Sea Dragon. Sea dragon, yeah, yeah sea monster, sea dragon, uh, yeah. Um, actually, Justin or Pro- Proctor, if you want to, if you want to email the painted pictures uh, to uh, Justin directly, and maybe he can go ahead and put those up a little bit later on, um, and we'll see if we can put those up. Let's go ahead and put up uh, a couple of new pieces. Let's start with these. We'll start with the dragons we showed last night. Actually, let's go ahead and cut straight to the to the close-up camera right now, and we'll take a look at the war mammoth. There he is. There's the war map. There's a cannon from the from the ship, and there's Sir Forskill. Already there, you guys didn't even have to ask for it. We were prepared this time. Went ahead and put Sir Forskill in the picture. Woo-hoo. Well, you could you could put a cannon on the war map. Yeah, two. you could. Yeah. Really cool. Or ten, since you have extra ten. Now. Yeah, extra yeah. cannons to go on your. Uh... I don't know if you have extra cannons. Depends on who you're trying to shoot. So Vigo's peep says, "I want to see a cannon on the uh, the sloop, the bones, um, the uh, uh, the Brian extras sloop." Okay, we can do that. I can show you that. Um, I'll have to take it out of the packaging over here and do that. But yeah, but there's the there's the war mammoth option. Currently, the uh, uh, war mammoth is still available in the pledge manager. Again, there were about a dozen items we had to turn off because our um, demand was very close to meeting our inventory, so we turned those 12 items off. They're listed in the latest. Pledge manager, or excuse me, uh, uh, Kickstarter update. But yeah, we'll show that sloop here in just a moment. Here, let's show this guy. Justin, you can just leave the close up on because we're going to show a bunch of stuff here real quick. 
This is uh, Valfurix. That's a nice one. It's a great looking dragon. It reminds me of the crocodile from the Peter Pan um, animated uh, yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah. Kind of has that, that look about him. Yeah, um, definitely around the face. Yeah, the jaw and face and everything. Um, Questron Studio sculpted this, but when we got it, it needed some, it needed some work, it needed some uh, patching up. So our own Daryl Roberts game got the uh, the file and did some doctoring and fixed the tail, gave it a whole new tail, and um, turned yeah, out Darryl much pimped better. That up. Yeah, he did pimp yeah. that tail up quite a bit. He pimped up a lot of the dragons. Um, uh -huh. They all had some small issues we needed to pimp or uh, to tweak, to polish. So Daryl worked on those and turned out really, really great. I'm really happy with the results that we got on all the, uh, the dragons from Bones 5. Okay, let's see what we'll do next. Oh, this is not a dragon, but I don't remember. I mean, we probably showed this guy a while back. We're going to show him again just because he's such a cool model. This is the Cyclops from uh, Greek Odyssey. Oh, just yeah, had to show him. Jason sculpted this. Here. Jason Weeby sculpted the uh, Cyclops. Uh, this one is shown with the, the club hand. I did not, you can see the blue tech there. I didn't blue tech on, I didn't even bring over the, uh, the sheep hand. So if you want to have him bowling with sheep, or whatever you, he's doing with those things, you can, uh, you can do that instead. So, there you go. Jason, nice job on the Cyclops. Yeah. Thank you. That's so, did, since you're not just the peanut gallery and you're here definitely. to give me insight and inspiration, tell us about the Sorry. Cyclops. Well, I was trying to remember if he left off a necklace for production or not. Oh, you know what? You're right. He does not have his necklace on. Uh, when you get him, you'll have to, to uh, put, the, put the necklace on, then put the head on to lock it in. Yeah, there, there is a necklace. There is a necklace. Skulls yeah. 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 No, that yeah. turned out really well. I'm going to blame that on Collins. I don't know where his necklace is. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Oh. I take that back. His head does not come off. The necklace just slips right over his head. I'm thinking of yeah. a different model that did that, Jason. What was that? Yeah. We had another one that did that. Yeah, where the necklace slips on. The, the, oh, the skeleton. You put the, head on. the giant skeleton. That's maybe that's that. what I'm thinking of. Maybe one of the fire giants had the same issue. Yeah. You know those but, wombats hanging off his belt? No wombats. Those are sheep. Yeah. There's no such thing. Those are lesser horned wombats. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> the woolly, horned they're wombats. woolly horned wombats. Yes, they're um, extinct. They're, 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 extinct. Extinct. they're extinct now because yeah. of the predations of the crew of the Argonauts. Yes, because of those cruel, horrible Argonauts. There's no more dire, woolly wombats. Sorry, wombats left. Okay. Uh, Vigos Peeps wanted to see the sloop. I'm not going to assemble the whole thing. I'm just going to put the, um, the, the basic sloop down. Chris Lewis sculpted the sloop. And we'll put the cannon on the sloop just for you, Vigos. There you go. That looks a little dangerous. <laughs> not yeah, a good idea. A <laughs> not a, a great idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not put, sure sloop cannons were a worse. thing. I don't think they were either. So there. There you go. And there's Sir Forskill in the sloop. The Dreadmere fishing boat is a little smaller than this, half the size. Um, we had one over here for, for uh, comparison at one point, but I think it's uh, walked off. But there you go. There's your sloop with your cannon in it. So you could, you could, maybe you could fit two cannons in here. Yeah, you could fit two cannons in there. If you want to do such a thing. Oh, what is this? Okay. Someone wanted to see the harpy from the uh, Greek Odyssey. There's one of the harpies. Ooh, I think that's, that's the nice. harpy screecher. The harpy screecher. It's Julie Guthrie? Julie Guthrie. Does she go, does, can she fit in the sloop too? I bet she can. <laughs> let's put her in right there. She's oh, gonna, oh, there we go. See? There you go. See, you could have yeah. a sloop full of harpies coming you, at you. A sloop full of harpies, sloop full of cannons, sloop full of sir four scales. Mm. Yeah, the possibilities are endless, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, good stuff. Great stuff. All right. All right. So let's look at, we'll look at Craterix next. This was the, uh, the Shadow Dragon. Again, oh. sculpted by Questron Studios. This one is injected in smoky, clear, uh, smoky gray, mm. like translucent, clear gray. Hard to tell that it's translucent here, but it is translucent. Um, I think I erroneously put one time that, it's a, that it was tra translucent purple, but it is a, it is a smoky gray color. You, in person... This one was also enhanced by Daryl, right? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He pretty much kind of tweaked every one of these things. Um, Josh Davis painted a, our, our uh, print that we had in the studio, but the, this is the way you're going to get it right here. You're going to get it in this smoky gray material. Um, again, in hand, 
with all the lights on it, which seems doesn't make sense. Uh, it's a lot more translucent uh, with all the lights. Is on the it. It super solid. translucent too? Like everything's translucent. Yeah, underneath. whole things, whole things smoky gray. <clears throat> That'd be interesting to shine a light from underneath and see what happens. Uh, oh well, let's see if we can do that. Okay, not there. There we go. Wait, is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. spooky. Ooh. Right. That's cool. Good idea, Proctor. Yeah. Thanks for calling it. Yeah. That's why I'm an that's artist. That's a great idea. I know. <laughs> no, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you are no, an you artist. Get, like, get you are an artist, that's for sure. Huh? Yeah, I'm you can't artistic. call him Proctor um, anymore. You got to call him Michael. It's oh. a new rule. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry. I missed You'll that. You'll get one. called some sort of vulgar wad if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> We've been calling you that for years, though. Why change now? No. Uh, it's it's Why I've been not? telling you not to for years as, as you well. Never you told me that. that. I've never, never uh, asked me to do that. No, you didn't. Times. Okay. Well, that's what We're you can do. Yeah, you can red or green or whatever. That'd be cool. <clears throat> okay. All right. So let's put you something else. You planned that all the time, didn't you? With the light underneath. You just yeah. Forgot about it. I was just waiting for you to call it out. Um, this is Ildratus. So this is the one we did not show last night. This is Ildratus. Now, Daryl really worked this one. Um, it needed a, a and lot. And you come of, up with all these names, don't you? Um, on these dragons, and help me name some of these. Um, okay. Yeah, I won't tell you which. Uh, some I named, some Anne named. Uh, Ildratus um, was designed by Izzy Talon Collier. She really, uh, really designed the head primarily, just to give it a really good look. And Daryl painted is actually in the process of painting this one. Um, he's almost yeah. finished with it. But he was really attached to it since he was the one who sort of did a lot of the sculpting, um, uh, uh, post sculpting, I guess, uh, that he uh, he got really close to it and he painted it. So it looks really good. Yeah, the so did Izzy design the head after it came over? And, and no, 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 no. No, um, no. it was designed before, but it, like okay. I said, Daryl gone and, and kind of tweaked it to make it look a little bit more like Izzy's art. No, these all come unassembled. Every one of these dragons you're going to get unassembled through uh, with your Kickstarter pledge. Now, it's possible that when we do fulfill or post fulfillment, when these show up in boxes, it's possible they may come partially preassembled. Um, I would think that the wings would not be on, um, but that's that's a future thing. I don't know today. Uh, I don't know what that's going to be like, but um, mm -hmm. rest assured they will come uh, unassembled when you get them. All right, let's see. What else? Oh, I don't think we showed this guy last night. I think Michael, Michael, I think you're working on this. You're doing. Oh yeah, I am. Oh, I love this piece. I love this piece a lot. It's one of my favorite things. Kevin like Williams. Yeah, Kevin Williams sculpted yeah. Yog Sothoth. Yep. Um, and uh, Kevin has a really you know, affinity for all things Cthulhu mythos. Yep. So, and is just the master of tentacles. <laughs> I mean that in a yeah. good way. Um, that yeah. Way. Really cool. Really, yeah, that's really fantastic. Yeah, really. Every biting. Kickstarter he gets, he has a really top-notch uh, Cthulhu monster. Mm -hmm. A big one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Last time he did Yawathotep. This time he uh -huh. yogs the Thoth. Um, before that was. Yeah. He did Cthulhu in Bones 1. Bones 2 was uh, Dagon, I believe. Dagon, Bones, yeah. Bones, Bones 3 was... Oh, Shub Niggeroth. That's what it was. Yeah. So, yeah. And really I, cool. And I called dibs on every single one because they're so yeah. badass. And they look great. They turned out really great. Oh. So, really, really cool. Okay. This is Kalanzar. Kalanzar the Wicked. Okay. Um, Michael, I'm going to send this one to you so you can paint him up. Right. And we're going to go with, um, I think we discussed sort of a black theme yeah. for this guy. Black and black and bluish. Black and blue are very dark, very dark colors. Yeah, um, very dark colors. Yeah. So these, yeah, he's, that's, he's, I like his tail fins. That's, like, that's cool. In the back fins. Someone's asking if the feet are attached to the bases. Yeah, someone asked that a, yeah, a few minutes ago. We saw that come through. Oh, all sorry. these are all unassembled. They're all unassembled. So they attach to the base. You'll have to attach it to yourself. So Everything's the feet assembled. Attached to the rock right there. Oh, the I see feet, what you're saying. So yeah. I said, are the feet attached? No, 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 no. Um, the, the, feet, the feet will lock into the base. So the, I, I'm 
pretty sure they don't lock at the angle, if that's what you're, what you're saying. Right. So you um, can put your own base bottom of the foot. I think, yeah. is what they're thinking. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I believe that's the... Uh, I didn't put these together. Daryl assembled all these, but I'm pretty sure that none of the bases came with dragon feet already attached to them. I believe Looks that. Like and the these tails are production, right? That base. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, it's hard see. to tell. I don't think so, my friends. Um, the tail is. Might be different from dragon to dragon as well. Yeah, could be. I mean, I could probably pull this guy apart, but you know what? That's a riddle we'll solve next time. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But good question, though. Good question. Okay, let's check out let's check out Shavinra. Now th that's an Ann name, Shavinra the Slayer. That's what Ann. That Ann sounds like Ann. Shavinra. That's a cool dragon. Oh man, he's so are cool. you claiming? Are you claiming that's a that you do dragon. the other name? I um I did do the other name. Is it did. is Lovejoy painting this one? Yeah, Aaron came into town last year, about a year ago, when he was here in February. Oh. Back when that unfortunate Ronning Man video surfaced, and was yeah. in the studio and was testing out one of the Vex prototypes, and he started painting this one, um, a blue and a purple kind of color scheme based on one of the Pizza Dungeon dice, the blue and purple Pizza Dungeon dice. Mm -hmm. I said, "Here's your inspiration." I gave him the dice as kind of what I wanted to look like, and so he started working on him. And I asked uh, him about that. Maybe we should ask him tonight on his show. Um, how's the dragon coming along? He said he was going to do a video with the dragon, so. We'll see. Um, we'll see what he does with that. And how much of these are in the Well, if he's anything like a sculptor, he'll say, "Oh, it's coming along great. I'm working on it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think they're four. I think if you're a, an existing bones backer, I believe these are fourteen. Uh, where's the force? The force go? Where'd he go? Fourteen dollars. It's crazy. Fourteen dollars. Um, yeah. These are all three-inch base dragons, which is really cool. They're all three inches. So that gives you the, the huge size in some role-playing games. Some role-playing game. Um, we have 14 bucks in the pledge manager if you're an existing backer. If you're a, a new backer, it's going to cost a little bit more. A little bit more. So that's Shavinra. Uh, this is another one that Daryl really played with the wings. It came in, and it, the, the wings were just really small, really kind of tight. So Daryl took it, and we um, tweaked the wings a little bit. Tweak. Oh, is that how behind we are? Okay, all right, here we go. Here's a Ganzarax. Mm. That's a wrong name. Mm -hmm. Old Ganzarax. Another cool dragon. One of the most popular. I, like the I think. Base. Yeah, that's a cool dragon. These are still available in the Pledge Manager, okay? Um, so, again, we talked about this in Reaper Live last night. Um, some of the items are going to be turning off in the pledge manager. Again, our, our demand or the demand that we're getting, which grows daily, is exceeding our final production numbers. And as we get close to the, those numbers, and we have to have a buffer. Um, we have to turn those items off just because we don't have time to order more uh, figures. Um, our manufacturers in China, we use multiple manufacturers, and we have our production window. And when that window closes, there are other manufacturers behind us who are waiting to get their stuff produced as well. And so our, our partners tell us, look, you've got to get these orders in, or, the final number, so we can get this stuff produced, shipped in time for you to fulfill your Kickstarter and get the next guy behind you, get their Kickstarter going. So we've got, or not just even, not just Kickstarter, just regular production. They're, they're actual manufacturers. So this is why we have to turn items off. Not because we want to. We're not trying to upset anyone. But I mean, again, Reaper doesn't have its own factory in China? I, I wish we did. I wish we had our own uh, plastic injection giant company here in the okay. United States, but we don't. Um, oh, somebody wants to see Eldratus again with Sir Forsco. So, there you go. So, that's why we have to turn these items off. The dragons are still on for now. Um, a handful of items have been turned off. And next week, next week, the end of next week, uh, almost all of the extras are going to be turned off. So, I'll tell you that right now. If it's an extra, or extras are items that are in the core set, not the options, not the power ups, all the all the extras. So if you want extra, you know, uh, extra Merkelors, extra trolls, extra spell effects, things like that. If you want extras, you need to get them now because next Friday we're going to turn those off. They will not be available anymore after next Friday. That's Christmas Day. And that'll be in the update. So don't put it off till after Christmas. You gotta get it in. Before don't put it off for Christmas. Yeah, or after Christmas. So uh, the ship. Here, here, 
Kiraneko589 says something that's cool. Um, he likes that the dragons actually have scales and not the weird pebble texture that mm. you see in other dragons, which is cool. Uh, scales are a lot of fun to paint. Yeah, um, and if you're a numbskull like me and don't know how to paint, dry brushing, these scales <laughs> are perfect for dry brushing. They're really crisp, yeah. really sharp, really, really raised. They're really good, and you can dry brush these guys. Yeah, all they're long. crying out for the minwax. That's right. They sure are, oh, Bobby. Oh, my Lord. They sure are. Bobby, what's the minwax method? Can you explain that really briefly? Um, yeah, you destroy in a miniature. Paint it in a base color and dunk it in minwax. <laughs> That's it. Minwax yeah, 2 to 360. Waste. 2 to 360. That, what color is that? It's kind of a gray. Kind of a gray color. Minwax Tudor 360. T U D O R 360. So just what base coat, dip, and done. And yeah. dip and done. That's advice baby. coming from a sculptor. Yeah. <laughs> a gold medal winning sculptor. <laughs> yes, that's right. He didn't do it with Minwax. It was a sympathy vote, wasn't it, Parker? <laughs> it was. It was. It was. It was. It's just to shut metal. him up. <laughs> it was a pity yeah, medal. Let's do him next, John. Um, this is the Gym Dragon by Christine Van Patten. This is in the corset. Um, also, the Dragon Wolf by Chris Lewis in the corset. Uh, there's Rocky the brush holder. I don't have a brush. Do we have a pen? Justin's got a pen, I'm sure. He'll hold your pen. You know, if you don't have a paintbrush, he'll hold your pen. He'll hold whatever we'll put in. Your chopsticks, um, your, what is it, a skewer that John's got? A straw? Whatever you want him to hold. He'll hold all that. I don't know what John's doing. He's breaking open a glow stick. What is that? What in the world? Oh, paintbrushes. Oh, my goodness. We actually have paintbrushes over here. Here's Rocky. He's going to hold your paintbrush. Now, the paintbrush doesn't snap into his hands. It's not that kind of a fit. Uh, it just rests in his palms, right, Gene? It's just a paintbrush holder. Yeah. So the, you didn't sculpt thumbs on it for it to snap into place because all paintbrushes are different diameters, right? Yep. yep. It's not a paintbrush gripper. Right. <laughs> it's a paintbrush holder. You could put yeah, a... It you, you could put a giant a sword in his right. hand. It looked like he's presenting a sword to someone. It's which important is, to right. know that yeah. the gym dragon is going to be in the different materials. Yes, that's true. The gym dragon is in clear. Um, our sample is in gray, but the gym dragon final one will be in a clear material. Oh, just so these clear. are all just again regular clear, not yeah, just, smoky clear, just regular clear, old clear. clear, crystal clear is what we call it. Um, mm -hmm. And it's an option, or excuse me, it's an extra in the core set. So again, next Friday is your deadline. Now, I will admit. Maybe choosing the twenty or the, the a random Friday in December that happened to be the twenty fifth, maybe not the best date. So that might no. shift a day or two depending because that is Christmas Day. Hmm. But um, yeah, it changes every year. We'll we'll uh, I'll, not Christmas the the deadline <laughs> Proctor, damn. Um, so uh, I was just thinking next Friday. Anyway, so oh he's got a little bit of a droopy sword there, but that's okay. Uh -oh. Um. The uh, the extras, yeah, that's what happens. The extras are going off, so get your extras in ASAP. Um, some options will be turning off as well, but we're going to try to let you guys get as much stuff as you can in, through through December. And it may be that by the end of December, there's only one or two things left. But you know, we have to get our you know our final numbers solidified. So, so is again, this fire giant in bones black or regular bones? He is. He has a combination. Um, actually, to be honest, he feels a little uh, true bones to me. He doesn't feel okay. like um, bones black. So he may be one of those rare ones that's, that's not going to be in bones black. But this is a first shot. Crisp. We might, we, it's very crisp. It's just a little mm -hmm. bendy. Uh, but again, mm -hmm. this is a production, or a, a, it's, it's a production shot, but it's a first shot. We might be able to go back and make things a little bit stiffer, especially the sword. That's the only thing I'd really be concerned about is the sword. Um, yeah. I can ask our factory to see if maybe they can make that a little stiffer. It's thick enough to heat up and re reposition, though. Yeah, but the rest of it being in regular bones, it's no big deal. Mm. Um, looks really good. Yeah. Boom. So in um, my little role playing world, fire giants—they may be they may be tough, but they're not the tallest of the giants. It's kind of an old school aesthetic. They are some of the strongest yeah. and toughest giants, but they're they're not the uh, the. T the uh, um, tallest they're tough but small uh let's see all right what else is that all the dragons i think so i think we're showing you all the dragons um let's show eric off one more time we showed him last week we'll show uh, eric off again trigger warning for all you people that are scared of spiders yep ah ah super cool 
There we go. Super cool. There you go. I was just holding on to it for the right moment. Super cool. The right moment. And there it is right there. Amito. Love that guy. Still available. Yeah. Andy Peeper sculpted this. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, that's what we're going to show. Where's that other thing that Andy Peeper sculpted? There it is right there, dead center. That. Um, just take Eric off there. So we showed a print of this before. We've never actually showed a production copy. This is the production model um, of the Gore Law. <clears throat> And I believe that the first time we showed this, we had a, an early print that was on a two inch base. Um, and I believe this guy is on a three inch base, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's correct. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's a three inch base. Yeah. So there's your Gorloff on a three inch base. Someone about, you know, um, was calling me names and all kinds of stuff because I put the wrong figure up at one point. But this is the actual Gorloff on a three inch base. Great job by I Andy have Peeper. That piece. Huh? I have that. I've been working on it. I think you may I have the two piece. inch print. Or maybe you have the three I think inch I print. Do. I maybe think you, do. you gave me it. No, it's the same size as what you have. Is it? Measure it's the diameter of the base. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, what we got left was, was the two inch early print, mm -hmm. which is the one we, we photographed. But this is the. It's uh, a cool piece. It, really it is, is a really cool piece. Again, designed by Easy yeah. Collier. Easy Collier designed a lot of the stuff that you guys go in there. I say it's super cool. You might say that. You might just say oh, that. It's awesome. Yeah. It's badass. Yeah. That's, um, yeah. Izzy designs a lot of the stuff that you guys sculpt um, and translates so well. And it's just very difficult sometimes to get a good, good translation. Um, and you guys always do an amazing job of translating her art and, and designing your own stuff. Let's see. Oh, okay. Here's Somebody something. wants to see Kaiju Chaos. Okay, we'll show Kaiju Chaos here in just a second. I'm going to show this yeah. one more time. Go, go. Okay, there's this. Now, I screwed up and I, I grabbed the wrong bag. But, so I grabbed two of the same stone. There's a third, huh? Yeah, and the altar, uh huh? And then the uh, one of the ghouls, and there's another ghoul float. Oh, there's the victim. And there's two female ghouls somewhere. Who knows? But this is the charnel, uh, excuse me, charnel pits of the ghoul, charnel pit of the ghoul queen, uh, by Bob Rodolfi and Julie Guthrie. Bob did most of the scenery, the terrain. Um, Julie did the uh, helpless male victim there, which I think is a great figure. It's a great figure. Which and, you have a uh, strange fascination attachment to. For some it, and you know what? It's something about it. Maybe because it's so different, you don't yeah. see a lot of um, male captive figures, but. It's just, she did such a good job on it. You know, the look on his face, the, 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 the anatomy, the physiology, the way he's it, he just, he's just a cool little figure. Um, but you're right, I do have a strange fascination with it. Yeah. He's awfully he beefcake there, Ron. He is beefcake. Yeah. He'll you paint shared up that great. with Adrian yet? He's got to paint up great. He's got to paint up great. These stones here, these are the ones I told you, these are the same stone. I pulled the wrong one. But you get the three stones. This is the shrine to a certain undead um, demon. Um, the, the sacrificial altar. The bones come out of the pit. It's a good set. It's a good set. Um, get that this now. That head on the the head on the on the plinth there is really cool. Yeah. That that's that's great conversion material right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going back and using all your parts mm -hmm. for uh, for later. Yeah, really neat. So that's the eternal pit. Of the ghoul queen. All right, let's take him her off of here. Let's see, we'll take these guys off. Then I'll, oh, my assistant is leaving me. I'm up by myself now to do all this stuff on my own. What do y'all wanna see next? Anybody wanna make any requests? Just Raven turn home. on that middle light again. That was really cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the, uh, uh, someone wanted to see Ravenholm. I, it was Scott Bile wanted uh, to see the, I don't have the stair piece yet. Yeah. And I am missing, again, we didn't bring out all the parts today, but, well, there you go, Scott. <laughs> Here's your encounter at Ravenholm. I don't have all the parts up here today. <laughs> I, uh, I, I have that painted. I, just, I don't know whether I've sent you the pictures for that or not. I don't recall. Of course, that doesn't really mean anything. Um, yeah, sorry, Scott. That's all I've got. <laughs> the pledge manager will show you better pictures than what I've got here. But it looks badass in person. Trust me. 
Uh, it looks no, really the cool. stairs are super duper cool. Too bad, you know. We, we don't have pictures. Them. Yeah, sorry about that. Mm. Sorry. Um, let's see. All right. Well, do you have the uh, Do you have the ogre porter? I don't. I don't. Oh, wow. I don't. Sorry. Not Does over he here. Does it exist? Yes. Yeah, he's not what put together, John to said. We'll show him next week. I got two votes oh, for Dawson. Oh, there's Dawson's. no show next week. Who? So you got Crocosaurus oh, and the Ogre Porter, and you're going to show it on the day we're not oh. having the show. I'm yeah, showing that next Friday. Gonna, you're right. You're going you're gonna to pull up Kaiju Chaos as well. Oh, yeah, Kaiju Chaos. So we've been showing you the print, but this is a production model. Boom. That's an actual production model. Easy assembly, just a few, few little uh, steps. Uh, let me check something here. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Say it, go, go. Good. Really good. Go, go. Right. There's just a lot of good stuff. Again, um, if you're a backer and you've not closed your pledge, unfortunately, like I said, there are a dozen items that are no longer available. The ship. Okay, that's what the other thing. Uh, the ships are going to be turned off next week as well. So if you have not ordered your ship yet, you need to go ahead and get your ship ordered. Either the glow in the, the, glow in the dark version or the regular version. These take a long time to produce, a long time to assemble, to box. We need time to get these things um, on the water and over here. So again, next week the ships turn off. So get your ship order in. If you've not done that yet, go ahead and get them in. How um, many ship loads of that ship you think you've shipped? You know what? I think, um, <laughs> it's, Jason, I think, you Holy think that, it's not that funny because we've actually got to, we've gone through and taken the volume of each funny. box and Hawkins, it's super funny. funny. It's super funny, Jason. Don't let him tell you that. It's super funny. I'm not. It, uh, yeah, no. it was funny. But um, yeah, that's here. Let's turn here. Let's show non cloaca. Oh, let's go like that. Um, so uh, a lot. It's going to take up a lot of damn room for these stupid ships. How about that? That's not good. Sorry, they're not stupid. They're awesome. That's cool. Thanks, John. That's a good shot. Man, those goats. Except for those goats. The goats. Everything, everything's goodness. great. I don't know why Bobby is so proud of his goats. They're it's cute. Like you're proud of that bound, bound up male victim. <laughs> Similar. Yeah, exactly. David Cecil. Uh, <laughs> Daryl Roberts is painting the ship at this moment. Daryl yeah, Roberts is. He should be. He's the only one silly enough to, to take that task on. Um, so he'll be painting the actual one over here on the uh, the table. Let, let's let's have a close up of the little traveler. He hasn't gotten any love. Oh, can, he's cute. Can you see him? Yeah, look at that. Such a yeah, jaunty little yeah, traveler. That's cute. He's about to get eaten. He's about to be eaten. Yeah. He's about to die. Yeah. Unless someone so in comes in. When, when you throw the goats in there, that is Bobby, is what you're saying. <laughs> 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 Someone needs to come rescue the poor shepherd. Ah, doesn't look Man, like he needs rescue. Need, we need oh, a big he's, he's bag of those is. goats for for, for caveman hunting. Oh, yeah, the the um the plan now, and things could change. The plan now is that the uh, the encounter sets will be sold as boxes uh, after fulfillment. It it is possible though that we could be selling these pieces individually. And I would imagine that some, some of those might be individually, um, but oh, we will be selling yeah. them as sets. These are the Rune Whites and the Dragon Folk by Bob Rodolfi and Julie Guthrie. Someone asked Let's to see those. Right. Drow was, was it Green Users who asked to see it? No. <laughs> yeah, they, the Green Users asked to see that. Uh, trebuchet and Ballista. We can show those next. There you go. Those are great. These are really, really yeah, great. Yeah, they were great. Really, really good. And Dragger. That was really fun. Unfortunately, these items have already been turned off in the pledge manager, so she can't order these anymore. Oh. Well, at Let's least you can see what you got, idea. what you're ordering. You know, if you've already ordered them, you know what you're going to get here. Um, but yeah, these are no longer available, unfortunately. Well, uh, let's show the show the siege engines. Okay, there's the. Uh, we even have the bullets. We have a. Production copy of the ballista somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. There was a catapult, or excuse me, a battering ram that we made as well. Chris Lewis sculpted, and it was going to be a power up in the pledge manager, but we just didn't, just didn't make it. Yeah, just, it should paint the trebuchet. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Bone six. <laughs> yep. Yep. Really, really good. Uh, what if, what happens if I order more now? Will my, will it delay my purchase order coming two deliveries? No, you only get one delivery. If you order more, what now? I'm not sure. I, I, I miss specifically what you're referring to. It, it's uh, impossible to order SM. the ones you've turned off if you go back to the site right now. So yeah, if you order more of something order that's away, on, no whatever's problem. on the site, you can still order. Mm -hmm. No, I'll put it in the same order when it ships. Exactly. Here's the catablepus. We'll put him right over the siege engines. Yeah. Mm. If if it's on the play, on the Reaper Pledge Manager and you go and order it now, it'll just be all be boxed together and shipped to you. Um, this fulfillment I predict is going to be absolute murder, John. It's going to be someone, a bear. Someone asked if the catapult was working. I I don't believe this no. is a, a working model. You'd have to convert it. I think <laughs> these don't go anywhere. Um, yeah, they don't. Now I do believe that the wagon with the uh, Brian Wind extras does roll, but. <laughs> But I don't think the catapult works. No, uh, you could you could probably fix it up. Contest to see if you, anybody can make it work. Yeah, that'll be a challenge. Yeah. Uh, the um, dang it, the Cerberus. That's another one leading burner. Okay, he's over here. He's just not put together. Um, the Doxies are here's a Doxy. Let's show some Doxies. We need to put There's, some of these models together. I know, on. I know. I'm just sitting around doing nothing every day. I should just exactly just, just stop and play with toys every now and then. Um, I know. Okay, well, there's the doxy, I guess. Um, I know. You, you've opened every bound male prisoner and put it together. Every one yeah. you have. But... <laughs> well, thanks for joining us today. That was a great Bones update. What is that? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that was good. So there's the uh, there's two of the doxies, uh, and there's well, he the one. He still has us on every time. Is I don't know. I'm starting to rethink man. that. <laughs> um, there's the... Uh, here, I'll, instead of Doxies, let's put on a, let's put on a, a son of Barty. Um, and a, Ooh, a well of, the, well. Uh, the thing in the well. And what do we call Spike Shell Warrior. Spike, Spike Shell, shell Anti-Paladin. Which is, He's cool that's too. badass, by the way. That's, that's really cool. It's cool. badass. We need more of those. There's so many cool yeah. things yeah, in Bones too. 5, y'all. So many cool things. We need things some more Spike Shells. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I didn't see the be? uh Oh, I didn't see the Barty. Yeah, the the Sons oh, of Barty yeah. are great. They're really really cool. Um do we have another Here's another one. Another Son of Barty. Good and job, a female. Put them all together. together. The female up here and then there's the female. Let me put them Ooh. And the rumor is you might see another son of Barty for a different son of Barty for ReaperCon yep. in September 2021. I think you will. You might see Barty himself. Ooh. That's the rumor. That's the rumor. So uh, so I know that if you guys are, are watching this update thinking, well, where's, where's all the new stuff? I think we've kind of, again, there's some things we haven't put together yet. Um, Things do get put together. They uh, they get used for different things, and they suddenly disappear. Um, but so sorry if you guys are looking for something specific and we don't have it. But um, but yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much the bulk of uh, all the stuff here. Let's see the daimyo set. Let's see, there's a lot of daimyo stuff over here. Yeah, where's the Asian dragon? Uh, the Asian dragon is at your house. <laughs> My only copy that's at your house. Do you want it back? Well, I mean, it's going to end up on your desk and get. What's wrong with that? Your desk is a disaster. Oh, give me a break! It's where, it's where good paint jobs go to die. That's why your stuff isn't on my desk, Proctor. <laughs> exactly. Uh, wow. I keep it home. Well, if he's going to start throwing shade, I'm going to throw it right back. <laughs> um, there's some daimyo stuff. I like that. I like yeah. this. Hey, are there are the daimyo goblins in there? Yeah, they're they're yeah, there's some right there. Daimyo stuff. Now I believe the daimyo set is still available to purchase. Uh, I think all the expansions right now are still available to purchase. Hmm. However, I know that some of them will be again, there I, I can tell that um, while there's still some of those available, 
Uh, they're still on the on the pledge manager. Um, their quantities are getting um, lower and lower every day. So if you haven't, if again, don't wait. I think that's the whole thing here is just don't wait. I know a lot of people are having to wait until after the holidays to sort of spend their money. Unfortunately, it may be too late by that time to, to, to get some of these things. Again, we're not doing it to be mean or just be arbitrary. It's just that we just simply, we, we don't want to sell you guys so, or have you pledged for something that we can't ship you uh, in the spring. And if it comes up that, you know, it's sold out, we want to call you or contact you and say, sorry, I want to know you pledged for this and you've been waiting for this all these months, but we don't have any. So we just don't want to oversell. And hit our deadline. How many yeah, pieces we, are in this Kickstarter? I, I honestly... When the Kickstarter ended, there were 606. Hundreds. Yeah, six, uh, six, uh, over 600. And with the, all the power-ups we've added, I think it was close to 650. Wow. It's the largest Kickstarter we've ever done, piece-wise, uh, backer-wise, and we still have last week, like we said last night on the uh, the update um, on Bones Five Live, we have 1,800 people who have not even spent their money that they pledged. There's the Sea Dragon. Look, there he is right there. Yeah. You can go full Very screen nice. if you want to, Michael. I mean, uh, Justin. There he comes. Yeah, he's awesome. Thanks. That's a great sculpt by Jason. Mm -hmm. And who painted that again? Some knucklehead. Clever Crow painted that. Clever, Clever Crow. Crow. That. Yeah. 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 Love the uh, the the colors. Looks great. Thanks. Looks really great. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, he's a good looking good looking sea dragon. Yeah, we worked on him a little bit on the crow's nest. The base looks fantastic. Um, it's a sculpt mm -hmm. all to itself, all into itself. So you need um, yeah. extra basing stuff. And the final out. production piece will have a clear rod, not yeah, correct. Uh, a black painted, a rod. solid rod. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I. When you see the Crocosaurus base, if I remember right, that one is even more elaborate. Um. Yeah. Dang it! It's cool. I'm kicking myself for not having that over here. No, um, it's, you got plenty of time. It's not a big deal. Uh, AUS USA, AUS USA, what has been the most popular item in this Kickstarter? Um, obviously, the core set is what gets people into the, to, to the Kickstarter. It's the best value. You get 120 pieces, 150 pieces, whatever it is, for such a good price. I've heard I've heard Mandapar Pass is coming up on it, though. Yeah, it's Mandapar Pass is catching up fast. Um, yeah. yeah. It's a, Manda, it's a Mandapar good. Pass. It's a Sasquatch right there. That's a... Look... It's a steal in the Kickstarter in the, in the pledge manager because it's such a low price. It's a slug of plastic, so it's going to retail for a lot more um, post Kickstarter. So if you haven't gotten it, get it, get it now. Um, so the core set is always the most popular item, but if you disregard that and you go straight to the other things, as far as the expansions go, it's a really, really close race between Dungeon Dwellers and Greek Odyssey. Although Greek Odyssey has done better than the Dungeon Dwellers by about 100 sets. So it's really, really close. Um, Dungeon Dwellers is probably one of my favorite sets, but Greek Odyssey is right there with it. But my goodness, they've all done really, really well. All the expansions have done pretty well. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. As far as the options, the plane options go, not talking about the expansions. Um, the dragons, of course, have done really, really well. I think the most popular dragon, I think, I think, if my memory serves correct, is uh, Shavinra the Slayer. That one is very, very uh, popular. But they're all really close. It seems hey, like so whoever... No, how much a Mandapar Pass is? I don't remember. Was it... I, I want to say $20, but I... 20? Man, 22? What? Something like That's that. crazy. 20 or 22? Yeah, I, I can't remember. It's in the $20 range. It's in the pledge. Yeah, you can't, even, you can't even get a Yeti for that from the other companies. Yeah, that's right. But... <laughs> 22, 22 bucks. Yeah. You can't even get one Yeti, no. let alone a Yeti no. scalp or a Yeti, Yeti uh, altar. You can't yeah. get any of that stuff. No one Beef, even makes uh, that except us. Beef in the whole Greek Odyssey is, is the best selling expansion. Um, let's see. Oh, the, 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 uh, the, the mammoth depths. has done really well. All the, the, all the options have done really, really well. And they're all very popular, but I think that, I think Shavinra is probably the edges out the other ones just slightly. It seems like if you've purchased one dragon, yeah, you went ahead and purchased all the dragons. That's a fight uh, right there. Holy gosh, that that mammoth is big. They're both really big pieces. Yeah. He's about to get his brains bashed in, though. Yeah. Man, that's cool. Y'all yeah. did some yeah. kick-ass stuff in this Kickstarter, that's for sure. Yeah. 
Okay. What's so, the uh, what's the Bama Tour? He's in the fan favorites. He's in the fan favorite yeah, set. What's it, what's, his, what's it called? Uh, right now, I believe in the Magnetar, in the, didn't we? Call the Magnetar. Yeah, we call it the Magnetar in the Kickstarter. When he yeah. actually comes out, he may have a, a cool. completely different name. Uh, Greg. Oh, man, that Greg Elslayer model. He's so cool. Yeah, I thought we were calling him yeah. Philip for a while. Maybe we'll call him <laughs> Philip or just Phil. Phil, <laughs> that was it. Phil. Phil's more relaxed than Philip. Philip seems so formal. Yeah, yeah. he looks more like a Phil. Cousin Phil. Um, yeah, cousin Phil. Acid the Monk. What about the Tyrant, uh, the, the Fathom Tyrant? Uh, yeah, um, another one we don't have over here. Damn. I think Proctor has. <laughs> might have our only copy. Oh, look at that. I that do. I painted that. Yeah. I have yeah, I know. Print. We don't have an unpainted one over here. There's are two of the Elemental Scions. Um, these are Prince, I believe, or PU Masters. Uh, and Proctor has uh, the Earth and the Water. And then Michael Kleeman has Fire. I'm sorry, Air. And Rhonda Bender has Fire. So... Yeah, I'm when working do you on need the, these? I'm working on the box two days, matter of fact. So whenever you get oh. the, the front finished, just send them on over. <laughs> okay, here comes the spell effects. Oh, I like these. These are really neat. Look, look at that. Look at that grasping hand. Ah, good job, it's man. grasping Sir Four that. Scale. Neat huh. stuff. Neat stuff. So we're just about ready to wrap up here. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, there's the disapproving Somebody hand. Somebody asked about it. Yeah. Uh, HM Road Dog, I'm sitting north of $1,200 and still have some on the list. Wow. Well, wow. thanks for your support. Thanks for everyone who supported Bones 5. Holy crap. Um, let's see. Oh, the Undead Wolves, they're around somewhere. I guess, unfortunately, uh, Redcon 1, we don't have them on the table. At this point, things, because between the studio being used for other streams and things like that, there are, the, things get moved around quite a bit, so they just don't, Go back in the same place every time, but um HM Road Dog, he needs to get a quart of men wax. The little pint can is not gonna be enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Redcon one, Hanitizer spells. That's what we need. We need some yes. hanitizer spells. Yeah. Um yeah. all right. Well, so we're getting close to wrapping up here. Uh, again, I think uh, you know, if you guys I love that golem. If you're That's watching so, this yeah. stream, you probably already um uh, probably closed out your your pledges. There's still time. There's still 90 or 80 items, I guess, around 80 items left in the pledge manager. 78. 78. Yeah, someone okay. mentioned the dire grouper. I don't think we've seen the dire grouper or Where's the that? Oh, no. The Dunkleosaurus. Here's the, the here's the Dunkleosaurus right here. And here's See, the dire mine? here's the dire grouper. Yeah. Ooh, we saw a really radical grouper video the other day, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. That was cool. He ate a shark. Yeah, he ate a shark. Uh, I I called dibs on these a long time ago, but they still haven't shown up. Look, just, damn, <laughs> just wait. <laughs> Hold your horses. <laughs> I'm just going to have our, our manufacturer just send a box directly to Proctor. Just <laughs> Why don't you send Proctor to China? That might be a better solution. <laughs> Um, no. Oh, I no, forgot about the, the hammerhead. Yeah. Yeah. Some great stuff yeah. in this. Man, Dark Depths is so good. Yeah. Dark Depths is probably the yeah. third most popular expansion, right behind Greek and Dungeon Dwellers. Uh, I think followed them by Brinewind and Fan Favorites. Um, and then I think uh, did you ever Daimyo. Send Jen, the rest of those mermen? I didn't because did we're still using them in the streams. Yeah. Um, yeah. But she's uh, definitely going to get them all if she still wants to paint them for us. Hope she does. She does. That is Man. a dire grouper. Someone asked that in chat. Yes, it's a dire grouper. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess. We, Although really, it's not much different than a regular grouper, right? He's, yeah, I mean, you know, hey, he's dire to me. He's big. I mean, look at Sir Four Scale. Yeah. I mean, he could swallow Sir Four Scale probably. He's big. Um, well, Michael claims he hugged one or one hugged him or there was I something did. illicit going on under the waves. There was some, some envy involved. Somewhere. Yeah, we had some touching. There was a lot of touching going on. With Fish intimacy. Fish, Fish intimacy. intimacy. I see. I see. Yeah, um, kind of like you and the goats, Bobby. So oh, is that, again, is that, is that I, double rate? I like the double rate. Bound again, if uh, <laughs> there's about 80, 78 items left next week, we are going to turn off the the extras. Uh, the ships are going to be turned off. Please don't wait if you want to get those items because we've got to 
get this uh, finalized and, um, and off. Again, a lot of the numbers that were finalized, there are a few that aren't, but then these are the ones that, that, aren't gonna, that haven't been finalized yet, so you still have time to get in. Um, Options, you can still yeah, get some it options. it be a while before you see those again. So if well, you want them soon, get them now. For example, I know that um, we turned off Elemental Scions and we had to turn off uh, a few of the other ones. But by the same token, a lot of those, just by coincidence, are going to be some of the first ones we put out next summer once the uh, fulfillment is over and we start releasing these into uh, distribution. So, whoops. <laughs> Oh my God, I don't know why I do this. Um, so, well, anyway. Well, you wouldn't if you were there in person. You, you wouldn't do it at all, but. <laughs> he sent us the invites. I'm sorry. I know. I know. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> disable those links, please. Um, <laughs> so, all right. Well, anyway, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, I know it wasn't much of a an update. It's just more so a, a review. Um, but again, close your pledges if you haven't done it yet. Um, and we'll try to keep you guys as updated as possible. We're, we're ready to go. Hey, Justin. what happened? <laughs> and then, Justin, Justin, you told him to turn the, us off. Not everybody. Uh, um, yeah, so not anyway, I hope I Michael's a one that go. everyone watching has a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year, because I don't think we're going to be back before then. So I know 2021 is kind of a crapshoot, but hopefully 2021 will be a lot better. We're going to get our Bones 5 stuff in 2021, so that's a great thing. So here's to, here's yeah, to forward, looking forward to, to great things in 2021. So, gentlemen, mm -hmm. appreciate the time, mostly. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you <laughs> in the next. Yeah, yeah, there's a Kickstarter update tonight. As soon as this is over, I've got to go across the street and write the update. Justin, so, are you going to give us a Christmas what? present on the way out? Yeah, do what, yeah. Gene? Gene, what? I'm sorry, I was talking about I was about asking what? Justin if he was going to give us a Christmas present on the w right way out. Uh, uh, it looks like he's giving one right is. now, as a matter of fact. Yes, I am. Yeah. It's, it's coming up here in about three seconds. Uh, uh, in an hour or an hour and a half, come back, watch uh, Aaron Lovejoy and his new show. So uh, stay tuned for that. And again, again, thanks for a great 2020. We really appreciate it. And we will see you guys in 2021. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Merry have Christmas, a, everyone. Have a happy, happy New Year. Year. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas everybody. Yeah. Merry happy Christmas. holidays. Crow's Nest will be on on Tuesday. So just because they're yeah, we'll be on, on Tuesday. For the end okay. Jason right, that's true. We have a hell of a gap, too. Yeah. All yeah. right. Usually when Jason that says gap? that, it means we don't know. Thank you, Michael, for <laughs> affirming that. That's. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll send you the show oh. notes, Jason. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need those show notes. you got to be a little more accurate, though. <laughs> They've been all wrong. Uh, Last three times have been wrong. Uh, all right, guys. Give everyone a big wave. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.